What's he writing his will? Journal. He keeps a diary. Who's a cute little sweepy demon? <laughs> hey, that voice. That voice, though. He sounds so different in Japanese. It sounds badass. This guy's seen some stuff. I'm really looking forward to what the training is. So far, Tanjiro's been set up as the protagonist with a lot of heart, obviously. But, like, no training that I know of. Although there's, like, a... There's gotta be backstory to him, right? He's got this scar. He proved he was capable when he fought Gyu, Toko, whatever. And made it out unscathed against the world's fastest demon. Some Demon Slayer backstory? That's really not a lot. My question is how prevalent are demons? Secret leader, but Gyu seems like he's near the top. Where have you seen this before? <laughs> oh no, here we go. Here we go. We already got a mystery box. This is very... <laughs> yeah, let me take a guess. Are their bodies also extremely light? And do they eat people not for sustenance, but because they're jerks? Looking forward to the special demons. You know, like the armor demon and the attack demon, and the jaw demon, who's got a really big mouth, but even bigger balls. And also, there's a really big demon, known as the colossal demon, and a monkey demon known as the colossal asshole, and then a demon who's just sort of there at first to carry asshole demon stuff. I'm very much looking forward to female demon, so I can correctly guess her identity. There's something else going on, isn't there? It's not just demons, there's gonna be more, more to it. I'm gonna take a wild guess, although I guess it's very general in a way, and say that the demons were a result of some kind of godly magic, but it has to do with human decisions, like a human that sought some power or something like that, and there's gonna be that central power that ties the whole story together, and Tanjiro either has access to the power or is a descendant of some key element of that or something like that. Like, he's got something else. He's not just a normal, a normal dude. That's my guess. That's the opposite of Titans. Sasageo, am I right? Sabito and Mak Makamo. Looking forward to seeing this guy's style. Do we just, like, throw in a tournament arc as well? I see. So it's not a personal journal. I wonder if he's doing that to give himself something to look forward to or something to keep him going. Putting myself in his shoes, one of the most painful and difficult things about this whole thing is that he's being very gung-ho about reverting his sister back to her human form, but he has no way at all of knowing if that's even possible. In fact, everyone's telling him it's impossible. That's far and above, I think, one of the most difficult things to navigate. When you're supposed to find a way to act, despite having no evidence that what you're doing, your hard work and pain and sacrifice, will be worth it. It's easier to gravitate towards things where there's a very clear and linear result. Like, for example, if there's something that I want to do that's really big and difficult, often I'll seek some sort of, like, education first, some sort of class or something like that. And there are good reasons for doing that, like wanting to gain the skills, but actually I think there's a more insidious motive there, which is delaying the entrance into sort of the chaos of having to make choices where school or education or a certificate or whatever is this linear thing where you just sort of show up and it dulls the knife a little bit of like having to face the full complexity of navigating a difficult thing and not being guaranteed any kind of success at all despite your pain and sacrifice. One thing I've often heard in my life is this idea of like believe in yourself and you will succeed. There are definitely positives to this because I think it is definitely possible that emotions and faith in oneself let's say can push one to act but I actually think there's a major pitfall there as well. Well, which is for many things it's impossible to have evidence that you can succeed until you succeed and if you make believing you can succeed a prerequisite for for action then that will stop a lot of people from acting but the acting is actually the essential thing towards success not the believing if that makes sense so like if i can only choose one between like faith in myself and the ability to act despite faith i'm going to choose the ability to act every time because as long as you can keep acting, as long as you keep moving forward and making small tweaks and not giving up, something you want will eventually happen. And that actually will give you the faith you're looking for in the first place. There's sort of this trade-off too, because the things where there are linear paths to success also are the things that offer sort of linear results, whereas things that are chaotic and random also offer the chance for explosiveness as well as nothingness. But in that pursuit, you know, in the pursuit of something that is not guaranteed, because it can be really tough to go after it day after day, I think finding something to connect to emotionally is really important. For example, it might be something like, I don't know what success will look like, but when I'm successful, I'll be able to help my family. Or when I finally revert my sister from her demon form to her human form, I'm going to hand her this journal, and she's going to know exactly how much we've been through together. Get good at these traps. Improving? How much better can it get? 
今日は<笑>それは awesome. 今日はというより最近毎日つぶり It's one of those things that looks easy, but it's actually impossible. Like even really easy things, you do them a thousand times and you die. 縦の力には強いけど横の力には弱い刀を振るとき込める力の方向は全く同じでなければならない Metaphor there. 刀を折ったりしたらだお前の骨も折るからなと I feel like he's not the kind of person to make empty threats. No one doubts that. A lot of it seems like just conditioning training, endurance training, which is smart. What just happened? That was fast. Also, falling training. How fast is that wind blowing, though? Nezuko does a lot of sleeping. <laughs> just 10 water breathing forms? 10? This is the kind of thing that other students, maybe not Tanjiro, will be like, can we just go back to the sword stuff? It's the kind of thing you, you don't do because you're in a rush, and then 5 or 10 years later, or 20 years later, you realize that your skill has plateaued because you never learned the basic 10 water breathing forms. I actually have like a martial arts master story. The second high school I went to was sort of unique in that you did classes only part of the week, and the rest of the week you did internships for credit. And in a way, I think that's what sort of gave me that that taste I had for, you know, trying a bunch of different things and for work adventures, etc. But what was really cool about it was that my last semester, the only thing I was missing was gym credit. And I happened to notice going through the catalog of internships that there was a gym internship, which was taking a Kung Fu class <laughs> with a Shaolin monk who had defected to the, the US. And so I studied Kung Fu at his, I don't know if you call it a temple, but in those months of going there, I never even got to have a lesson with him because before you even begin learning forms or before you actually learn Kung Fu from him, you have to master, I think it actually, it's 10 forms. All of them were exercises that simultaneously trained strength, flexibility, and coordination. And basically from the time you arrived to the time you left, you would never take a break. You would just drill those movements. It started with a kick to your face like you just straight leg up and got gradually more complex but about once a week I want to say or once every two weeks he would come check the line of students who were still in that sort of preliminary movement stage and if you were doing your movement satisfactorily he would move you up to the next movement and it was only when you graduated those 10 movements that you could actually study with him I think I only made it through like five of them but weirdly when I think about all my history exercising all my history in sports I think that was the most fit I've ever been just because of how crazy crazy it was like just an hour straight of the same motion with no breaks i imagine that if i had actually stuck with it and i wasn't just doing it for gym credit i would have been a monster just in all ways because of the the ways that shape my core just my core physique all right let's learn how to breathe he could not be less relaxed right now I feel attacked. Alright, sure, I'll just go and do that. <laughs> oh, that's what he meant. But why yell your sister's... Okay, for motivation. It's all for motivation. Six months! In my expert doctor diagnosis, this is a plot sickness where sleeping just makes it really easy. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, she's a kawaii demon. All bets are off giving her demon form, no? Is it denial or is it just like... He's just cute, I don't know. You know what I mean? This is not a normal situation. It's not like your sister is just ill. Your sister's a demon and there's a chance that she'll never, ever recover. Wow. Oh, we just did a whole year in about 10 minutes. A great teacher knows when to stop teaching, too. That's the point, right? To get out of school, to be able to go off on your own. What am I looking at? <laughs> you gotta or orient yourself in one direction. Orient your soul in single minded purpose of your goal. He doesn't even stick around to watch the boulder get split. I see. I got it. It's pretty genius. The training is over, but it's just begun in a way. It's now already a year? A year and a half already. I love how, like, amazing that, that goal was he just set for him. I also respect it as someone who's really lazy. The work is just doing itself. And it's given him this emotional turmoil he has to work through. He's got a hard head, right? 
Oh, new character. Fox mask dude. Oh, what? He's odorless? His voice sounds really familiar. Do they all wear masks? Or is there like a like a mask gang? Mask crew? Have you learned nothing from anime? Is it Aaron? <laughs> Something about that insane laugh. I gotta look it up. It's bothering me. Oh my god, it is Aaron. <laughs> the laugh gave it away. <laughs> Does Tanjo even deserve to breathe? <laughs> I can also lift them and plug holes in walls. <laughs> and now I will leave. <laughs> I told you, it's all about the, the breathing forms. You gotta learn the basics. You didn't even learn to breathe. That's a twist. Did you even learn to breathe? Well, that's what you have to be one of those things you're not even supposed to break the boulder. <laughs> I just feel like this is a crossover at this point. Is he supposed to be here or did he just show up to have fun with him? Is this a request? Is this a tag team where he just occasionally shows up to beat up students? There's more of them. This is the good cop, good cop, bad cop routine. So you get knocked the hell out. <laughs> when you get knocked out, but you admire your attacker's form. That's Makomo. Makomo. It's always a good, good move in any initial meeting. You want to make friends, just, you know, bring up the other person's shortcomings. It is sort of a mystery, right? They just kind of showed up. And beat the hell out of Tanjiro. I also love the teacher. There's been a lot of great teachers on this channel for all the things they do during training. What impresses me most about this teacher, the way he stands out to me, is all the things he's not doing. <laughs> all the things he doesn't have to do. He just sort of put this rock there and told Tanjiro to knock himself out, which he's doing. You want to have a good time at work? Get the work to do itself. They do have a mask gang. Does she mean that literally? Gotta breathe. <laughs> Alright. Two years have passed. His hair's grown out. You grew out your mullet like mine. <laughs> your face looks woefully uncovered, though. There you go. It's all in the breath. Go back to the basics. His bones are all excited. You're gonna break the sword? Or was it his mask? <gasps> That's just disrespectful. Did she just... F what? <laughs> just, was it fog or... She just apparated. What in the world? Wow. Were they even there? Well, I think that answers the question of what they were there to do. I mean, they definitely came to help him. And just a little bit of bullying, because that's fun. So, <laughs> I really enjoyed that episode, the training episode, but in a way I didn't expect. Like, I was expecting this great master people thing, like we often get in shows, but the teacher is sort of not there, and that's kind of great, you know? He's like, I trust you to train yourself with this rock. Just hit this rock a bunch. My other students will, will be around in a bit, too beat you up about the specifics of the training it's not flashy but i actually kind of love it like it's been my experience that it's always the things i skip because i think they're too basic and obvious that end up being the most important and i always end up wasting time this is so true for me in language study you know i'm always racing to cram as much as possible and and get ahead but i end up just overwhelmed with information and nothing really sticks and i make a ton of mistakes and then i give it up for a while and then come back to it later and realize if i just taken it methodically step by step and mastered each step of the rung along the way i would have gotten there not only much better but but also much faster counterintuitively. Even had the same experience in exercise, you know, like you start working out and you target the muscles that look the best, but you continue down that path too long, you realize that the lack of balance has sort of messed you up and impedes any future progress to the point where you have to go back and start building even the most basic muscle groups from the beginning. Like a common mistake that I think a lot of people make is they just make their chest really big and neglect their back and it ends up like pulling their whole body forward. So for Tanjiro, it's breathing. And I mean, yeah, why not? Like, why wouldn't it be breathing? Why wouldn't it be like conditioning and calm and, and focused? When it comes to athletics, there's certain people you meet 
and you just quickly realize that because they have a few fundamental things in place really strongly, they can win at almost anything. You know what I mean? People who are top tier have special skill sets for sure. Like there's no substitute for practice and mastery of very specific skills, but with just general conditioning and strength training and body control, that's a lot of the battle, it seems to me, like just your own body fitness. So out of the three episodes, even though this wasn't the origin and, you know, the tragic backstory episode, I feel like in many ways it was the most impactful because first of all, it was the longest in terms of duration. This was what, a two year episode, right? It also seems to be the transitioning of him from this naive youth to someone who actually is formidable. You know, he's actually a threat. Like he has skills now. He knows how to use a sword and he can breathe. And I guess a little bit of demon lore, although a lot of the demon lore is like, we don't know the lore yet. And these two characters who I think are a sign of like this really cool ensemble that's going to grow in the show. But The Rock doesn't hit back. And I wonder if the sadness that Orbido, was his name, expressed wasn't from the knowledge that now this might be the end of Tanjiro's innocence as he goes out into the world of demon slaying.